In the early 12th century, King David I invited the de Morville family to move north into Scotland. The de Morvilles built their castle east of Edinburgh at a place called Salton. Just a couple hundred yards northeast, they gave land to a very interesting family. The family was St. Clair. The land was called Herdmanston, and they've owned it ever since. If you ever get a chance to go, you'll see just how desirable this land really is. Hugh de Morville received a tenancy in the Northamptonshire from David I in the 1120s. He married Beatrice de Beauchamp. The couple moved north and Hugh became constable of Scotland. His son and grandson succeeded to that title. The St. Clair family came north to Scotland with the de Morvilles, and several other families came with them as well. In 1162, Henry de St. Clair received a charter of the lands of Hermanston. This land Beginning in the 1600s, at some point, the St. Clair family of Hermanston began to bury their dead in this tiny chapel on the land, which is here to this day. So quite a ways from the little chapel, the burial vault, across the field I see some stone ruins we're going to go to take a look at. This is Hermanston as well. It's about a hundred yards from the burial vault. I have no idea what it is or what it was, but it's obviously part of the original Hermanston. Slightly up the hill, the burial vault. And here, part of the original structure, I'm certain, of Hermanston. Quite an impressive amount of space this place occupied. The River Tyne. just a few feet from Hermanston, across that river, the Dovecut, which I believe was built in the 1600s. And what remains of a very powerful family's lands. This small bit of standing stone from below, just to the side of a little burial vault, and slightly up the hill from the foundations of Hermanson. So we're just up the hill from the River Tyne. You can see the dovekid over there and the foundation stones. And this is a small construction, of a small bit of remains of what I now realize definitely was a gate, because look at those. Those used to hold doors. And if you look, there was definitely a trail leading downwards, or a road leading downwards, then over to the entrance to Hermanston. So I'm at the easternmost part of the Tyne, right by the water, and this clearly is what some of the locals were telling me is a tunnel. I suspect it might have also been an ice house. I'm going to try to peek in there, but I don't expect to see much. It's pretty well covered over. And we're east of all the other foundation stones. In the 12th century, land was money. Land was power. And this land of Hermanston must have been considered very precious by the St. Clair family. Richard de Morville, who granted them this land, was a son of Hugh, who founded Dryburgh Abbey in about 1150. In April 1221, William DeVoe granted a charter to Dryburgh regarding his church of Gulane. This DeVoe was Lord of Durleton, very near to here, about 14 miles to the north. A DNA ha study has proven that the St. Clairs and the DeVoes do in fact share DNA, we share blood, back about the 1200s. Maybe it happened here at Herdmanston.